Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is part three of the Jigsaw Joint Tutorial Definition. And to get started, what I would like to do is to offset these curves so when we fabricate them either with a CNC router or a laser cutter, that we have some leeway so that when we piece back the joints that we can just slide it back into and it doesn't have to be such, such a tight snug since we might get a super perfect cut and we have to sand down um, enough so we can slide it back in together. So I want to be able to put in input numbers where I can have adjustments. So to do that, we're going to go to Curve Utilities and grab the offset. And we're going to need two since we want to offset it, it offset it by in two directions, one to the left, one to the right. And it's going to be half of what we want. And we're going to go to, or we're going to connect the C into the offsets. And then the distance of offset we're going to go to parameters and grab numbers. I'm going to say this is 1 16th of an inch and set the number as 16. And then I'm going to copy this and paste it. And then this one will be 1 32 of an inch. And I'm going to set the number as 32. And remember to commit changes. And then I'm going to copy and paste and this is going to be 64 and set the number to 64 and then the last one I'm going to do is 128 and then set the number to be 128 and then we're going to go to logic and grab the one variable expression and I'm also going to grab a receiver and connect this and I'm just going to connect that really quick to the receiver and the expression I'm going to use is open parentheses 1 over x so what we're taking in is we're going to take the 1 over 16 um, inch so 16 comes in and that's 1 over x and then we're going to divide it by 24 usually we would divide it by 12 to convert to inches but we only want it so it's half so it, it splits half one way or it offsets half one way and offsets half the other way so, and commit changes this will go into D and then we need one that's a negative to go the other way so I'm just going to put a negative in front of in front of the 1 over X and then put that into D and then unpreview the join and now you can see that there's a small gap between the two joints and then in case that you actually have a 3D model that you actually want to slice this joint through we're going to close these two curves and then create a a line between these two curves so you guys can just extrude the extrude the closed curve and then boolean out the the joint so to do that we're just going to go to curve go to analysis and grab endpoints and we're going to need two and then connect and then basically just connect create lines from these two endpoints So the endpoints will go with endpoints, starting points will go with starting points, and then we're just going to join these curves together. Let's go to utilities and grab the join curves. You want the lines to join, and then you want the actual offset curves. And then we we'll go to parameters and grab a receiver, copy and paste, and I'm going to need three receivers and three curves. So this one, or I'm just going to unpreview this. This one will be, let me zoom out real quick. This one will be the outside curve. So I'm going to call this outside. And then unpreview this. This will be the inside. So I'll name this inside. unpreview this and then this one at the end here will be the whole curve so I'll call that the jigsaw joint and then connect that so I'll take this and these receivers and the offset buttons and I'm just gonna bring it all the way back over to the left side of our 
definition. So now if we want a bigger a smaller gap, we can just input in a different number counting on what your material is. And we can also bake in Rhino if you want the outside, inside, or the, the actual joint itself. And the next thing we're going to do is, or in the next tutorial, we're going to be able to flip this, flip this, um, this joint so it faces the other side. And we're also going to divide this curve up to several sec segments so we can have actually more than one joint. And that will involve a VB script and some listing items. And thanks for watching.